guys as you saw from the intro today we're going to be working on my saber mass flying effect so it's very easy i'll show you guys it'll probably be like a five minute video but this is going to be my first tutorial that i'm doing on my effects that i do on my highlights videos so if you guys like this be sure to like and comment down below so i know that you guys like this and that i can make more of these in the future also tell me what other tutorials you want to see but i saw this one was requested quite a bit so i'm doing this one first so first step is you want to first sync your clip and everything and then you want to put your uh effects on and uh, get the base switch on so as you can see, I already got that with this clip. I got it synced here. So I got to sync to a speed velocity and the slowdown. And then once you do that, now we can work on the effect. So first thing you're going to do is I use Twixter to uh, do my timer mapping. So I already split my clip, but you want to split your clip right where you shoot. Then you're going to take the first clip. You're going to control C, control V, copy and paste. Then you're going to move it over one frame. Usually what I like to do is I like to get rid of all the effects that I had on it previously. Then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go uh, right click. You're going to go to time. Then you're going to freeze the frame. Now what I usually do is I go back 30 seconds. So I'm at uh, 50. Okay, let's go back here. I'm at 54 frames. So now I'm going to go down to 24. And then I usually just make it 31. So I go down to 23. Unless it doesn't appear for 30 frames. So I usually do like 30 frames to be coming. Now I'm going to uh, double left click on this and zoom in. Now I'm just going to speed through this guys. But I'm going to uh, trace the whole character and I'll come back to you guys when I have it done. Okay, so as you guys can see now, I finished tracing out the whole character. Now what you're going to do is on this uh, mask that you traced out. You're going to do control C, then control V. You're going to copy and paste. Then you're going to come up here, go to saber. Put the saber effect on. Next thing you're going to do is I switch mine to fire first. Then go to customize core. Change it to layer mass. Go to render settings. Change it from black to transparent. Now you should change my glowing content to 10. And now what I'd like to do is you can choose any color you want. But I'm going to do purple for this one. I think purple would be good. Let's do like 280. That's what I usually do for this skin. And then I'm going to click up off here. Since I double clicked on the layers on this instead of our composition right now. I'm going to click up off of there. So as you can see now, we have that traced out and we had the fire effect. But it's not going to be coming in yet. Because we haven't keyframed it to come in. So what we're going to do is you're going to press P on both of these. Then you're going to press a little stopwatch right here to put the position there. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back. You're going to go to one frame forward from where it starts. Now you're going to drag this because this is the X position. Drag this to the right. Then you're going to keep dragging it to the right. Until it's off of the screen and you can't see the glow. So maybe a little bit more because you can see, still see the purple glow. There we go. That's pretty good. Now we're going to control C. I control V in the same position. Now if we watch this, I'm going to have to render it out. But you guys will see that we're going to have this saber mask that comes in. So we have the saber mask that comes in right on V. Just like how you guys want. Just like that. That's perfect. Now one more thing that we could do to add more impact is do this. So we'll go here. I have a preset for this usually, but I'll do this like uh, you guys are going to have to do it. So now I'm going to keyframe this at 0 right on the beat. Keyframe this at 0 right on the beat. Then you could go like 10 frames before usually. Go to like 44. Then make it negative 100 on both. Then you could go like as many frames as you want. So we'll just like start right after the first shot here. Now we'll make this negative 100 and then go for 10. So what this will do is make the audio sound muffled for a second. So then we could control C that and control V that to put that on the game sound as well. I also like having it on the game sound because it sounds really nice. And then next thing you want to do is we'll come up here. We'll go CC toner. This is a free effect CC toner and the bass and treble. So you guys could do this. Saber is a plugin. I will try to help you guys out uh, to help you get Saber. But uh, there are a lot of free uh, opportunities to get Saber online. So now I usually change that to gray and 40%. And then I drag it all the way to the left. Then next thing we're going to do is right here. We're going to make it 100. Right where uh, the beat is still 0. And then when it goes to negative 100 for the bass and treble. We're going to make it 25. 
Then we're gonna go all the way where the beat is, and we're gonna make it 100. Now we're gonna make it 25. And you don't need to do this, but what I also add is I also add a BCC plugin, so BCC film damage. Then what I do is I uh, take everything off, take everything off, keep dirt on, make dirt all white, so make the second color white. Make it zero before it goes into the beat. Now make it 10 I usually do. You can make it more or less if you want to, or you can make the particles different colors, but I just like white. Make it zero right there. Then make it 10 right here. Now if we listen to it, save it too. So it's just gonna render, but as you could probably hear for a little bit there, it has that little bit of a muffle sound to it, and the music goes a little bit quiet for a second, and it creates a really good impact for your savory coming in. But uh basically guys, that is it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Like I said, uh, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and uh, tell me more tutorials that you want in the future. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.